going to be uh, cleaning the car today. Um, I've been daily driving this thing. Uh, I don't. I sold my other daily, so I share a car with my wife. Not ideal, but I work from home, so I've been driving this a lot more because I uh, I got uh, meetings and stuff that I gotta go to. So it's been fun. I've been uh, driving it, but it's super dirty. And there's a Cars and Coffee, so I'm gonna uh, get it cleaned up to go to that. And I'm gonna slowly start working on little odds and ends. And uh, you know, if we're doing something like that, we always need our safety squints. Living in an apartment is always a pain in the ass washing the car because I gotta walk around the corner here to attach the hose. So I usually just fill up the bucket and do the wheels and I do um, waterless wash and wax, which is very convenient. So, um, and plus I don't have the best paint. So that's probably what we're gonna do today. Yeah, they real dirty, look at that. Oof, but them center caps look great. I think after, We'll be doing a uh, walk around of the car. I'll show you a little bit about it and um, kind of give you a rundown. Ah, oh, faucets of faff. This wheel cleaner is really good. Of course, I have to get out the faffin hose here to rinse off the entire wheel because it's just like, ah, uh, such a pain in the ass. Gotta walk it all the way around the corner here, hook it up. Probably not even supposed to be doing this, so don't tell on me. I'm using the apartment complex's water and run it all the way back over there. <sighs> we got some water. Look how good that looks now. Sheesh. I'm not sponsored, clearly, but this stuff is so good. Check this out. Uh, it, it really gets all the grime off the wheels um, with minimal effort. You could essentially just rinse it off and it's good to go. But I, yeah, yeah, it gives a little agitation. Look at this. Wow. Wow, that's like not even a minute of it being on there. Incredible. Versus the rear. Rear barely gets anything. Not even a little bit. A little, a little bit up in there. Incredible. Incredible. This is why I like hate using the hose. The water pool's here, and this is where I need to clean. All right, let's give it a quick wipe down. I use this usually. Uh, can you see that? There we go. Um, it's pretty good. Yeah, it works in a pinch. Like I said, I don't like the faff about with the water hose wrapping around, washing the whole car, getting the street dirty, blocking the street. It's it's a pain in the butt and doesn't need that big of a wash because obviously the paint isn't uh, isn't ideal here, but uh, you know. We like to keep her clean.
<laughs> now that the sun has finally decided to make an appearance, I think we should take the car for a spin. I think I need a little petrol. Um, and we'll do some beauties and I'll give you a little walk around, show you kind of a little bit about the car, what I've done to it. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there. All right, let's get some petrol. Ooh. Clean car always drives better. Okay, let's do a walk around of my Mini. This is a Rover Mini, and it's somewhat backdated. You know, obviously it doesn't have the signals here. Um, obviously I put 10s on it. I have the Mark II 3 taillights, things like that. So I really wanted to look like, you know, kind of that Cathay racer style. Um, so that's kind of where I was going with that. So I guess we can start here. The first thing that you might notice is I have a van slash grill, uh, excuse me, van slash truck grill, I believe it's from. Um, it's held on by the grill buttons, um, and I had it chromed. <laughs> it's, a uh, it's done in a chrome powder coat, which looks pretty good, I think. Um, I don't know. I, I didn't. I wanted it to be a little bit different. I've seen people run these before, but I'd never seen anybody done the chrome-ish look. Um, so I don't know. It fits the vibe of the car, you know, ratty kind of uh, look on it. The second thing, I guess, up front, obviously, we have the belt buckle. That literally is the only thing that holds this hood on. Obviously, there's the secondary strap over here uh, that helps. And I love my Lucas headlight diverters. Those, man, I wanted these so bad. I just think they look so cool. Something about the yellow and the green on the car. Um, and then, you know, a swap meet find, uh, a Marshall spotlight. Uh, it looks real good and is actually very helpful um, in the dark. Next, my beloved Mambas. You've seen these too many times. I love these things. I restored them. They're not the best. It was a DIY job. I would love to take them off and um, get the lips polished a little bit more. Um, I have the Garage Fab mirror brackets here, which are super cool. Um, Swift Tune obviously makes some, a bunch of people make some. Um, I just like this design a little bit more. Um, and then some uh, bullet style mirrors, no name probably. The wall of stickers here, window stickers. I was never a sticker guy, but for something on classic minis or classic cars with some stickers on the, the window kind of gives a vibe. And these are all things that I've either purchased from um or accomplished right a thousand miles in this car uh, on a road trip uh some drives i've done obviously 10 inch club overcrest rally hopefully we'll add the 2024 to that list like i said i have the mark ii three tail lights those are pretty cool i love that vibe i'm not a fan of putting the mark one tail lights on unless it is a mark one and I know you're probably thinking, yeah, well, you put a Mark II three on when it's not a Mark II three, but it's not about that. It's more aesthetically having the small tail lights. You got to have the door hinges outside. I, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Call me crazy, but I think it looks pretty cool. Added a reverse light 
pretty cool. That was kind of a fun little project I did. Um, the little pop out gas cap, which is fun. Sorry, petrol cap with my gold tooth cray. Can you see that? Gold tooth cray fuel bib, which is cool. Uh, underneath the adjustable suspension camber and toe, I believe that does in the rear. Nothing else super special about the back. Just kind of refurbished everything. New subframe, um, new suspension components. Uh, just because when I got this, it was rotted out. Up front, I have the same um, adjustable arms, etc., etc. Let's jump inside here. Nothing special about the inside. I kind of went for a and like I said, cafe racer look. I got these seats for free and they were pretty ratty. They looked a little more pink. I tried to dye them and they looked really good dyed. Um, but this, whatever it is, this suede is so damn old that it faded again. But it looks cool. It, it, it vibes, right? My carpet's not the best. I try to keep everything clean in here. Um, I just vacuumed it out. But you can see it's, it's, it's worn. I got the Patty Hopkirk pedal, um, the stock door cards, and um, my pride and joy mountainy steering wheel. I really do, I really, really do love this this wheel. Um, it looks really nice in here. I think it vibes in the in the car nice. The other thing that I really love, and I've had a few people ask, is this Garage Foss um, dash. And it's kind of mimicking an old Speedwell dash. Um, and it's, it's you know, really cool. I, I just love the, the look of this kind of Mark I dash with no vents, the little cubby hole. So I converted it. Derek made this shift knob super dope. I love this thing. This shift knob is very, very stout. Very, very stout. Um but it looks so lovely in here. Um, and that's kind of it with the interior. I, you know, I really love these seats. Oh wait, I forgot. Uh, I have, I think this is kid, kid speed. I forget, um, the drop bracket, super nice. Great, great upgrade. The, the couple things that I would recommend people do is that drop bracket or a drop bracket and seats and a steering wheel and shoosh it just transforms the way you you drive this car it just feels so nice uh something else that i love um is this third brake light that i also got from jb fab uh it matches the mirror brackets um i think i got a sit right here this guy right here um he's got some good stuff so go check him out but yeah, that's pretty much the car. Uh, nothing fancy about it. I'll pop the hood and I'll show you inside the engine bay. Uh, I have a 1275. This is the Cooper, Rover Cooper 1275. So it is a higher compression. I think it's 10 to one. I rebuilt it a couple of years ago. Uh, pulled it out before I went to the Overcrest Rally in 2022. I had rebuilt it. You guys have heard that story. Nothing fancy. I just had it honed. Um, I did put a Kent cam in it. I believe 266, the fast road cam. Um, livened it up a little bit, refreshed it. Head got um, just cleaned up, and obviously the springs and and stuff to match the cam profile, uh, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, so I have a HIF 44 carb um, Manaflow. Is that what it is? Manaflow, I think. Um, exhaust manifold and um, out on an RC40. Nothing crazy on this car. It's just a fun little ripper. I drive it all the time. Um, and it, it, you know, it starts, it goes, and I have fun with it. Um, i trying to think. Anything else I've done to it? Probably, but I don't know.
I know this video didn't have a whole lot to do with the rally, but I thought I'd get it over with and do a walk around of the car. I've had a few people ask me about it. Sean did a little bit of a walk around with his car, so uh, only fitting that you guys can see what we're driving, at least me, because we know Sean, although he is working on it right now, so um, good on him. He's trying to get the subframe out, engine out. He's gonna needs to do a couple of rust spot repairs. I'll let him talk about that. Um, but uh, yeah, so this is the, uh, the, the loyal steed, if you will, that will be taking us on the rally. So I thought I would uh, share that with you guys, do a little walk around, show you what is taking us across the country. Next episode, um, I'll probably be jumping over to a Cars and Coffee, kind of showing you our local scene here in Ventura. Um, and maybe later too, I also run one called Cars and Crafts. It's at a local brewery. Unfortunately, um, I'll be out of town for the next one. So I can't quite film that. So maybe later on in the series, I'll show you that. Super cool. It's an awesome vibe. Keep rolling with these on my end. Sean's going to keep rolling on his end. I'll keep showing you uh, the car, the local culture here. Maybe we'll go on a couple drives. Um, but I also need to start kind of doing a nut and bolt check and just seeing if I need to replace anything. Maybe some bushing things here, rubbers, little, little odds and ends. It's been driving really good, knock on mountainy wood. Um, but, um, you know, you never know. Um, obviously change the fluids, um, and have everything nice and fresh for a, a long journey. So that's uh that's all i got here and i appreciate you guys tuning in and i will catch you on the next one